the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Hello viewers and listeners at home. It's nice being with you on yet another edition of the English language e-learning program organized by the Kaduna State Ministry of Education. My name is Messi Baita Kude, your English teacher. And today we're going to talk on vocabulary development. It's a continuation of vocabulary development. Particularly, we're going to talk about words associated with religion. We have talked about words associated with family life, we have talked on fishery, we have talked on agricultural science. Today, like I said, we are going to talk on words associated with religion. We have different religions, we are different kinds of worshippers, we live together, therefore there is a need for us to learn words that, that are associated with different religions. So for today, we are going to try to understand the meaning of religion. Then we'll move on to talk about types of religion. That's talking about traditional religion, Christian religion, and Islamic religion. Three, we are going to talk about what's associated with traditional religion in particular. And we'll talk about what's associated with Christian religion as well as words associated with Islamic religion. Why are we studying religion, words associated with religion? We are studying this because we are bound to come across different comprehension passages. We are bound to come across different questions on essays. We may be faced with a question, for instance, that says you should write on a naming ceremony based on Islamic religion. If you are not familiar with the words, if you don't understand them, it will make your work difficult. So there is a need to learn words that are associated with different religions. So what is the meaning of religion? Christian religion, Islamic religion, traditional religion. What is the meaning of religion? We have one or two meanings. Here, and the first one says, religion is a belief in a spiritual reality, often including at least one deity. Religion is a belief in a spiritual reality, often including at least one deity. This definition is taken from Wikishionary. Number two, we have it that religion is a particular system of a belief and the rituals and practices proper to it. A particular system of a belief and the rituals and practices proper to it. Again, this definition is from Wikishionary. Number three, religion is any practice to which someone or some group is seriously devoted. Religion is any practice to which someone or some group is seriously devoted. It is gotten from Wikishionary again. So let's begin by talking on traditional religion. We have it here, traditional religion refers to the indigenous religion of a people, indigenous, traditional, indigenous religion, religion of a people. It deals with their cosmological, ritual practices, symbols, arts, society, and so on. This religion is a way of life that relates to culture and society as it affects the world view of the people. So when you hear someone mention traditional religion, please quickly try to remember that it is a religion that refers to the indigenous activities of the people as it deals with the cosmological rituals, practices, symbols, arts, and the society in which they live. Examples of words associated with traditional religion. Number one, we have shrine. A shrine is a sacred place dedicated to a specific deity. A shrine is a sacred place dedicated to a specific deity. 
for those of us that are used to watching African movies, Nigerian movies, most times you, 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 you see a shrine and there is always a, a, a man there who is called the chief priest that goes to do some fetish kind of practices and so on. So a shrine is a sacred place dedicated to a specific deity. Two, diviner. A diviner is one who foretells the future. A diviner tells you about the future. Three, oracle. A person such as a priest through whom the deity is supposed to respond with prophecy or advice. A person that acts as a priest, priest and the deity relays the message to the people. When there is a prophecy, when there is any advice, the deity passes the message to the people through the oracle. Four, cult. A religion that evolved out of other religions but has become a different religion through a radical theory is a cult. You have a particular religion, but you have another religion coming out of it. So that is a cult. Charm. An object, act, or words believed to have magical power is called a charm. Number six, amulet. A kind of protective ornament often bearing magical symbols, one for protection against ill will, negative influences, or evil spirits is called an amulet. When you wear something because you need it for protection against ill will, negative influences or evil spirits, that means you are wearing an amulet. Number seven, sacrifice. A sacrifice means to offer something as a gift to a deity. Remember, we are talking about traditional religion. So the definitions that we are having here are on traditional religion. So to make a sacrifice under traditional religion means to offer something as a gift to a deity. Number eight, ritual. A ritual is a rite or a repeated set of action. When you perform a rite or a repeated set of action, it means you're performing a ritual. Number nine, divine. Something pertaining to God, something pertaining to God is divine. Number 10, incantation. The act or process of using formulas or rhyming words, sung or spoken with occultic ceremonies for the purpose of raising spirits or creating other magical results. So when you do incantation, it is a process of using words, rhyming words, formulas. You sing or you speak with the purpose of doing occultic ceremonies. So that is incantation, okay? Examples of words used in sentences. Sentence one. The old man goes to see the chief priest at the shrine every morning. The old man goes to see the chief priest at the shrine every morning. We have shrine highlighted. Remember, we're talking about traditional religion. Number two, the charm failed because she did not do exactly as the diviner told her. The charm failed because she did not do exactly as the diviner told her. Number three, Eze disguises himself as the oracle. Eze disguises himself as the oracle. Number four, the cult became weaker following the death of the chief priest. The cult became weaker following the death of the chief priest. Number five, Bayo made her believe the blindness of her mother is divine. Bayo made her believe the blindness of her mother is divine. Number six, the divination given about the village king is false. The divination given about the village king is false. Number seven, the old woman wears amulets on her waist. The old woman wears amulets on her waist. 
Number eight, the chief priest will begin the incantations as soon as the cockerels are done. The chief priest will begin incantations as soon as the cockerels are done. Number nine, the native doctor carefully carried out the rituals. The native doctor carefully carried out the rituals. Examples of words of traditional religion used in the short passage. Remember from the beginning of this, I explained that you may come across a situation where you may be required to write an essay. You may be required to construct sentences. That is a reason for teaching words under vocabulary development. Remember that there are times that you will have to be content specific. What is the content here? Traditional religion. So when you are faced with a question on this area, your words will strictly be words that are associated with traditional religion. So come with me as we read through this, the short passage. Apart from the norms, morals, customs and traditions of the people, every society has religions and modes of worship. The religions are indigenous and have been with the people from the inception of their society. The people may have cult members who worship at the shrine where most of the time sacrifices are made and rituals are performed to protect the people from harm. Most often, the chief priest is the diviner who consults oracle on behalf of the people. To protect themselves, the people usually use charms and amulets to ward off evil spirits and conjure good spirits through the use of chants and incantations. A religion of this sort is referred to as traditional religion. Now, we're moving on to words that are associated with Christian religion, and Christian religion is referred to as Christianity. Christianity is a religion that is based on the teaching of Jesus Christ and the belief that he, that is Christ, is the Son of God. A believer of the religion is baptized in a Christian church. All the Christian people and countries of the world are referred to as Christendom. Now we have some words associated with Christian religion. Number one, we have the Holy Bible, two, Pope, three, Bishop, four, Communion, five, Lent, six, Tithe, seven, Saints, eight, Pilgrimage, nine, Convert, ten, Pastor, eleven, Clergy, 12. Doctrine. 13. Pastorium. 14. Monk. 15. Nun. 16. Convent. 17. Baptism. 18. Pulpit. 19. Repentance. 20. Evangelist. Now we'll go into doing a different pattern of finding meanings. So we are matching some of the words each to its meaning. Number one, a member of a religious community of women who promise to serve God all their life, all their lives and often live together in a convent is called a nun. So in other words, a nun is a member of a religious community of women who promised to serve God all her life and she lives together with other women in the convent. Nuns do not get married. They promise to serve God all their lives and they live together in a particular place called the convent. Number two, a person who tries to persuade people by bringing the gospel to the people is called an, an evangelist. A person who tries to persuade people by bringing the gospel to the people is called an evangelist. Number three, a member of a religious group of men who do not marry and often live apart from other people in a monastery is called a monk. 
So when you have men of a religious group that live together, they do not get married. They live together in a place called a monastery. Such a person or such people are called monks. Number four, a building in which a pastor lives is called a pastorium. So a building or a house where a pastor lives is called a pastorium. Number five, the fact of showing that you are sorry for something wrong that you have done is called repentance. Number six, the dipping of a person under water to become a full member of a church is called baptism. Number seven, a person who has changed his or her religion beliefs or opinion is called a convert. So when you change your religion, your beliefs or opinion, you are called a convert. Number eight, a set of rules, guidelines and statements about beliefs of Christian religion or a church is called doctrine. The priests or ministers of a religion, especially of the Christian church is called clergy. Number 10, a building in which monks live together is called a monastery. we move on to Islamic religion. What's associated with Islamic religion? Once again, you may find yourself trying to write a comprehension or answering an essay question that has got to do with Islamic religion. So try to learn the words and their meanings. The word Islam means peace and submission to the will of Allah. A follower of Islam is called a Muslim. That is, one who submits to the will of Allah. The five pillars of Islam religion are Shahada, which means oneness of Allah, Salat, which means five daily prayers, Zakat, it means alms giving, Psalm, means fasting, and Hajj, which means pilgrimage to the Holy Land, Mecca. Again, we have a short passage on Islamic religion. Muslims derive knowledge of Allah from the holy book, that is, the Qur'an, which contains the revealed words of God. A second source of knowledge for Muslims is a collection of the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be unto him, called the Hadith. A Muslim's place of worship is the mosque, where he prays after he has performed ablution. Muslims' festivals include it il Malud, it il Kabir, and it il Fitri. A Muslim needs a kettle of water for ablution and a tasbih to pray. Muslims pray five times a day. They go to the mosque on Friday for Jumat service, and Imam leads Muslims' congregational prayer. Now, like I said, learn the words understand their meaning so that you will know when to apply each word in your writings, in your sentence construction, or your essays. And with this, we are going on to our assignment for today. We have three questions for you for your assignment on words associated with religion. Question one says, write five words associated with traditional religion and give the meaning of each word. Write five words associated with traditional religion and give the meaning of each word. Question two, write five words associated with Christian religion and give the meaning of each word. Write five words associated with Christian religion and give the meaning of each word. 
Question three. Write five words associated with Islamic religion and give the meaning of each word. Write five words associated with Islamic religion and give the meaning of each word. Question four. Make a sentence with each word you have given in question one, two, and three. Let's go back to question one. I'll read over quickly. Number one, write five words associated with traditional religion and give the meaning of each word. Question two, write five words associated with Christian religion and give the meaning of each word. Question three, write five words associated with Islamic religion and give the meaning of each word. Question four, make a sentence with each word you have given in question one, two, and three. Simply said, list five words under traditional religion, another five words under Christian religion, five words under Islamic religion, and at the end, each of these five words you use to construct a sentence, which means at the end, you are expected to construct 15 sentences. Please endeavor to do your practice, endeavor to read. Make reading part of you, make learning part of you. It's so interesting, it's so fulfilling when you discover that what you're doing is on the right track. With this, we have come to the end of our today's lesson. My name is Messi Baintakude. You can contact me on 080-250-25339. Again, my name is Messi Baintakude. You can contact me on 080-250-25339. Stay safe, keep learning. Until I hear from you, it's goodbye for now.